colleagues in this House, we stand with the people of Norway in our sympathy and in sending our deepest condolences. The Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Speaker, in a world that has perhaps seen just about everything, there is an inevitable tendency to view tragedies as they emerge as being just part and parcel of the world we live in today. And we all are afflicted by that awful complacency. But, Mr Speaker, this particular tragedy, the wholesale slaughter of vibrant, innocent, fresh-faced young people, stands out above many and cries out for a response. It's easy to say that this was the act of a lone, crazed gunman in pursuit of a particular ideological dream. And that may be so, but the reality is a deeper one, because the events that took place that particular day in and around Oslo are so unspeakably rare and unusual to evoke within us all a sense of, could it happen here? Now, our initial response, Mr Speaker, is to say, of course not. We are a benign and tolerant society. We do not have those sorts of divisions. Yet the same thing could and was being said about Norway. And so, Mr Speaker, while we mourn the deaths of those who were so callously slaughtered, while we extend our sympathy to their country to their political colleagues and to their families on their inordinate loss and how on earth that gulf in their lives will be filled in the short term. We need to reflect upon the implications for so-called good and decent societies like ours and like Norway's around the world. Intolerance and prejudice, wherever it festers, has got to be looked on as totally unacceptable, and we have to redouble our efforts in the wake of this sort of tragedy to ensure that those elements do not come to prominence in our society and in the kindred societies elsewhere. Just as the shock and the horror of what happened in Norway was because no one could possibly have contemplated such events occurring in that country. We must be mindful, lest a similar form of understandable complacency lead to us having similar misgivings in the future when events occur much closer to home. Mr Speaker, this is a wake-up call for all. It's not a call for witch hunts or a call for meeting intolerance with more intolerance. But it is a very strong call to all of us to do what we can to stamp out the root causes of intolerance and prejudice and anger and hatred in our society. And, sir, I believe that the greatest tribute we could pay those who fell so wantonly in Norway is to make that commitment, to ensure that their lives were not in vain, that their memories are spurs to us all in the free and democratic world to be tolerant, to be just, to be free, to be open in the future. That is what they thought they were about that particular afternoon. Their lesson to all of us should not be in vain. Our sympathy to their country and their families is immense and profound. Hone Harawira. Uh,